mixing up our kitchen game for spring, and there are always new tips and tricks to learn in the kitchen. <laughs> Today, we're sharing three we love in a little segment called Do This, Not That. Oh! Mm. All right. Okay. Jeff, what's your do? All right, my tip is to roast your shrimp. Oh. Don't saute them. Thank you. Okay, Thank great. You. But it's hard to saute shrimp, right? You need a really hot pan, yes. a little bit of fat, zero moisture, and that's how you get that color on there. If you know what you're doing, it's great. But with skip, skip all the guesswork and just roast your shrimp. I got my oven at 400. I got some... Guess what? No peel, shell on shrimp, just like Ooh. that. We're gonna hit it with a little oil, and much like roasting bones or roasting like, uh, you know, uh, a whole or... bone in ribeye, oh, okay. this gives you more flavor. All right? the flavors in the shell. Yeah. Helps protect the flesh yeah. of that shrimp and keep it from drying out. So yeah, that's, that's all shrimp. you need. So, so again, 400 degrees for about seven to nine minutes in the oven. And look at this. Peel and eat shrimp. So delectable, juicy. Oh, yeah. And oh, the skin's on there. I'm going to have it with me. Let's get it and guess what? A lot easier to peel, too, once they're roasted. Yeah. Look I actually have a recipe on foodnetwork.com called Sunny's Peel and Eat Shrimp. Give it a try. <gasps> so good. And it's fun, too. And it slows you down from eating, too. At least yeah. that's the way I look at it. The flavor's well, off the chart, right? Be, you know? The flavor is off the chart. Mm. Shrimp, shrimp, shrimp. Mm. The little shrimp cocktail, oh, too. Little so good. So do that. I'm going to cut something for you over here. Yeah. Okay, Sunny. Yep. Yeah. What's your do, this, not that? Oh, is it this or that? Shout out to the black sheep. Well, uh, a lot of times we're telling you here on the show, make sure you grate from the block, right? Because we always talk about how those non-caking agents are in the pre-shred. Yes. So we'll say, make sure you grate from the block, but look at this. This is like room temp. Mush. It's really hard. Mushy. Yeah, you can see how it's hard to get it out. Then, not as beautiful as it could be if you freeze it. Whoa! Yeah. Freezing cheese? I never thought my cheese. I do it a lot, especially if you get like the mixed cheeses that have maybe cilantro, dill, mm -hmm. or habanero, or you know, jalapeno peppers. Some other uh, stuff in there. Yeah, it's a little bit yeah. more um, flimsy, if you will. So about 45 minutes in that. your freezer, and this is eight ounces. And look at the difference here. Much better. Comes right Even out. Even sounds different. Sounds yeah. different. Look at that shred. Just yeah. as good. So, do this, not that. Smart. Smart. <laughs> Tip, and my tip is for making quesadillas, and I'm gonna use some of the stuff we got Ooh, going on over here for one. So for a really crispy quesadilla, we've done this before for grilled cheeses. Oh, yes, I know the secret. We're gonna actually spread the tortilla with mayo what? instead of butter oil. So it just takes a little bit. Listen, any excuse to put mayo on something, I'm gonna take Which it. Which is just egg and oil. Yes, so yes. there's a and, reason why it tastes good. Yeah, and the egg in there is gonna help it to get nice and brown and crispy. So you can see, I just put a little bit, and it's really gonna give it that extra oomph of flavor, oomph. too. How much oomph. Yeah, oomph. and oomph. because this does brown a lot more quickly, we put it into a cold pan to start, and we're gonna bring it up uh -huh. to temperature in there, and I'm gonna add some of Sunny's cheese in. Is that enough? So, yeah, that's Delicious. good. And we're gonna put cheese all over. Jeff, you wanna give me some yeah, of your shrimps? Yeah, I got shrimps? some. I mean, this shrimp is it's so amazing. good. It's it really, amazing. No, it really is. You guys gotta do this at home. It's so easy, <laughs> it's so, come on, dude. All right, and I'm gonna just put the good. shrimp onto half of it, because I'm gonna do one of those fold over quesadillas. And then I've got some jarred roasted red pepper here. So this is a great little pantry pull. <laughs> And some fresh cilantro, dot that in there. And then you wanna just let this come up to temperature as the cheese starts to melt. You can even put a cover on it. That can help the cheese melt a little faster. And then, Ooh. gonna come right over here. See that cheese nice and bubbly? Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna fold it right wow. over. Of course it's perfect. You, you know what annoys me? Sometimes you will go to like, even Mexican restaurants a lot of times, and if they don't like use fat on the bottom of the quesadilla, oh. and it's just like I love white. a dry quesadilla. Yeah, but I like it crispy and bubbly. Oh, I like yeah. that. Crispy. Like, you know there's two sides to a flour yeah. tortilla too, so you do want to see the ones with the bubbles. That's right. That should be the exterior of the tortilla, because you do get those beautiful Look crispy at that. bubs. Nice cheese melting out of there. Look at that. Mm. Good oh. stuff. Good. 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 I'm gonna taste this. Oh, pop. Oh. oh, geezy. You want that bite right there. Oh, man. Don't burn yourself. It's so shrimp funky. 
You know what I'm saying? Shrimp tastic. Mm -hmm. Shrimp You know why? Because you roasted it with the shell on. That's right. Yeah. More flavor. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh. By the way, how simple is that? Light, crispy, delectable. That mm -hmm. cheese with that mm -hmm. amped up flavor is just mm -hmm. delicious. Crispy and delicious.